Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Embedded for Point of Service. Now before we start the tutorial, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system, and please proceed at your own risk. Damages to your system are possible, so I'd recommend trying this on a virtual machine or on an older PC that you aren't using. Now before I begin, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Now let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is we need to check what service pack we have installed. So we can do so by pressing the Windows key on our keyboard and the letter R and type WinVer in the dialog. Beside the version string, you can see that service pack 2 is currently installed. So we need service pack 3 installed for this to work. So if you have either service pack 2, service pack 1, or the RTM version installed, then you'll need to install service pack 3. If you have service pack 3 installed, then you can skip this step. So we're going to close out of the window and we need to run the setup for service pack 3. So we can double click on the exe file. In the installation wizard, click next, click I agree, then click next, click next again, and then it will start installing service pack 3 to your system. Now we can click finish, and then it will restart our system. After service pack 3 has been installed, we need to install the Visual C++ 2012 redistributable. Click I agree to license terms and conditions, then click install. Then click close. Next, we need to install the Windows Update Agent. Click next, click I agree, then click next, and then it'll start installing the Windows Update Agent. After the Windows Update Agent's been installed, we can click finish. Next, we need to install an update to the mitigation APIs. Click next on the setup, click I agree, then click next, and then it'll start installing the update, then click finish. After we've installed the update, we need to change a setting in the automatic updates. So we can click the start button, then click control panel, then click security center, then you can scroll down to the bottom, and click automatic updates. Then click notify me but don't automatically download or install them. So what this does is it notifies us that updates are available but it won't automatically download or install them. So after that's checked, click apply, then click OK, and then we can close out of the security center. And then we can close out of the control panel. And now we can set up the WSUS proxy. The first thing we need to do is we need to run the add underscore WSUS batch file. Once it's finished, you can press any key to exit. And then we need to run the run underscore WSUS batch file. If you get this prompt, click on block. So what this proxy does is it bypasses the SHA2 code signing support check that Windows Embedded for Point of Service, along with a bunch of older operating systems such as Windows XP and Windows 2000, don't have. These operating systems use the SHA1 code signing support check, which is what the Windows Update Server is originally used, but then Microsoft dropped support for SHA1 code signing support check, so Windows Update no longer worked for a bunch of older operating systems. But by us using this proxy, it bypasses that check, so then we can connect to the update servers and install updates. After we've run the batch file, we need to press the Windows key on our keyboard and the letter R and type the following command WUAUCLT space forward slash detect now. Then hit enter on your keyboard and then you'll need to wait a little bit. And make sure that the batch file stays open and make sure that the command prompt window stays open while we're checking for updates, downloading updates, and installing updates. If checking for updates takes a very long time, we can install an update to fix that. We can install the KB898461 update. On the installer, click next. Click I agree, then click next, and then it'll install the update. Then click finish. And now we can go check for updates again. So we need to run the run underscore WSUS batch file. And once that's open, press the Windows key and the letter R on your keyboard, and then type the following command, WUAUCLT space forward slash detect now. Now it should already be auto filled in because that was the last command we used. If it's not, then just type the WAUCLT command, then hit enter on your keyboard or click OK. And make sure that the command prompt window again stays open when we're checking for updates, downloading updates, and installing updates. And there we go. We now have the notification that updates are available for our computer. We can click the yellow shield icon in system tray, and then we can see that all of these updates are available. You can make sure that they're all checked, and once you're satisfied, you can click download. To view the download progress, you can have your mouse on top of the yellow shield icon, and then you'll see it says downloading updates 14%. And now we have the notification to install updates. So we can click the yellow shield icon on the system tray, then click custom install, then click next, and then make sure all the updates are selected. Once you're satisfied, you can click install. The window will minimize, but you can click the yellow shield icon to bring it back up. And there we go. That's how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows Embedded for point of service. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.